Good morning, Facebook friends, social media, wherever we may be able to reach out to you this morning. I'm Ernest Franklin, minister of the North Point Dixie Church of Christ, 916 North 8th Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And by now, everybody knows that you can always call every code 501-563-5400 to be able to reach me for any comments or questions. And we just want to let you know we are more than delighted for you to be able to hear us this morning concerning, and we know that through all of what has happened, today everybody stands aside and wants to pay homage and the respect to Jesus who died for us, Romans 5 and verse 8, while we were yet sinners. You know, sinners like John 9, 31, God don't listen to them. Again, in Isaiah 50, 59, verses 1 and 2, God gives us the reasons. And the reason is today we come to worship God. But I want you to understand the book of Romans and the book of 1 Corinthians. Like I say, I don't, I like to just mimic all for the spirit. And the spirit tells me that today's environment, religious people and Christian people and people by themselves needs to get to know Jesus. The one who hung bled and died for us. We have no respect. See, I like to talk to common people. I don't like to use the hypothetical, but it doesn't matter if I want to be an exegesis or an eisegesis. If I want to be my homiletics, homiletics, as they say in the Bible, I, I don't believe there's none out there that can compete with me because I believe, like Apostle Paul, I was given a gift beyond gifts of men. See, men like to temper with the word. They like to add to the word. They like to Romans 16, good words and fair speech. I'm not interested in your standards of life, of religion, of your belief, your feelings, your thoughts. Because Isaiah 55, 7, 8, 89, God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. So I'm not thinking like God. How do God think? The Bible says and the Bible tells me that in Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 4, God wrote the book, gave it to Moses. Take my commandments and give them to my people. These commandments that God gave us, which was his word, that he will stand up. Allow me to say, he said, thou shalt not sin. I don't characterize sin as some man said, that man committed adultery, that man lied, that man. All of us know something. According to 1 Corinthians 6 and verses 9. Know ye not, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, all of these fornicators, out of the dust. He said, but search for some of us. Such were some of us. But now that we are in Christ, in our religions, the way you die in your religion is the way you're going to meet God. With your religion, standing up at the cross of Jesus, the Son of God, who died for you. Can your preacher substantiate or authenticate through the, the commandments that God gave that you have a chance to enter into the kingdom of heaven. See, some folk don't even believe in church. Some folk don't know what church is. Some folks seem to think the church is the members. Some folk think the church is the building. The building is more holy than the man that we talk to. The man that teaches us. 
we like to write books and put emphasis on who I am and my exegesis. Because of my homonutics, I studied with Dr. So-and-so, Reverend So-and-so, Bishop So-and-so. I studied with all of these men, and I doubt if any of them qualify to be any of the titles in which that they use. Why are you saying that? To the simple fact, we cannot sit down and agree upon something that the Word of God does not agree upon. Because if God tells you not to do, and you do, you sin. According to James 2 and verse 10, if you offend it in one point, God is not going to let you into heaven. What does it take to go to heaven? Well, Jesus died. Today the world claims this is his crucifixion. I met a lady the other day. One said we take our communion on Saturday. One said we're going to take it on Friday. Well, you can't take it until after. If Matthew 26, 26 is still in the book. After my death, burial, and resurrection, I will be with you to commune with you again. We could not commune while Christ was alive. We only can commemorate the death, burial, and resurrection after the death of Jesus. The Bible said in Acts 20 and verse 7. Let me get it. Acts 20 and verse 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Somebody said we can do it as often as we want to. How often did the Lord tell you to take this communion, the bread and the blood? How often? It says, for often, upon the first day of the week, if you are a Christian, the Bible said the Christians came together. Nowhere else in the Bible that they came once a month, they came on Saturday, came once a year. All of that is Colossus 2, 14, was put behind us. And they weren't taking it for the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. We are now under the administration of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, not God. This is the Son of God, blood. God did not die for you. His Son died. And we got preachers out here talking about Jesus is God. Jesus is God. How did he, well, why did he didn't tell nigger then? I went back up in my mother's womb and came out as a, as a father. Went in as a father, came out as a son. How gross can that be? Same thing it is here. The body is the church. You see, Paul says, when I was in the Jewish religion, before I got converted to Christ, I was above and I, 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 I knew my religion, but it was traditional. Timothy says to Paul, my daddy was a Greek, but I converted myself to Christ. Many others, Titus said, I converted myself to Christ. All of the apostles had to convert themselves to Christ. They couldn't stay in their own religion. We can't stay in our traditional, Matthew 15, verse 3, 9. If so, verse 14 says, we be blind and leaders of the blind. We're not going to make it into heaven. To make it into heaven is to make sure your religious stand with the stand with the word of God. For the word of God is quick and powerful than any two-edged sword. 
And I'm saying to you today, to be in Christ is to know what the church is. The church that Jesus said in Matthew 16 and 18, upon this rock I will build. He was referring to 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. That spiritual rock that followed them, that rock was Christ. Come back to Colossians 1 and verse 18. He is the head of the body, which is the church, which is his body. Whose body is it? Christ's body. When we come to the church, we come in Christ. When we go out of the church, we go back in our flesh. Sinful way. We come to Christ for what? That he may be able to forgive us for our sins. When do you come? Upon the first day of the week. This is your medicine. We done passed the insurrections. We done passed the pandemic. We bound to get trying to get back to the church. Where that we sin against God. When the church closed its doors in Christ's face. Hopefully that after this so-called day call. Because you know. Uh, let, me, let me get you straight. Easter in the Bible according to the writings and the recordings of God. And his 40 men of followers. Easter would have been on a Saturday. Not Sunday. The Bible said that the Jews said after Easter, uh, we go on to Acts 4, verse 12. We're going to kill everybody that's a member of that church of Christ. We're going to kill them. But the Bible says after Easter, they come to get Peter. After Easter, the devil says, I'm going to set up an Easter Sunday and I'm going to call it the resurrection of Jesus. But there's nothing in the Bible to substantiate that Easter Sunday, Jesus rose. But the laws of the land say we celebrate. I think we all celebrate the way the Bible tells us. First Corinthians 15, the Bible says in verse 1, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, uh, unto you that you have received, wherein you stand. Now, by which you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believe in vain. Vain worship, traditional worship, religious worship is not accepted unto Christ or God because the Holy Spirit does not teach us that we can worship God when we get ready. God designed a day. From morning to evening. John said we have what? Morning and evening. I don't know how you conduct and worship God in your life. But I'm like Paul. When I grew up, I grew up as a missionary Baptist. I wanted to be a Methodist. I wanted to be a church of God in Christ. But when I read my book, I want to follow Christ. And until Christ, until Christ come again, I want to be found following the word of God. Because the word of God is quick and powerful. Now the Bible tells me in Romans chapter 8, in verse 1. There is no condemnation to them which are in Christ. 
But them which walk after the flesh. But after the spirit. The spirit is what? The word of God. That's God's bond. That's God's standard. So if we're going to commemorate every week for the beast. Because the Bible said Christ rose on the first day of the week. He died on Friday. Laid in the grave. Got up early Sunday morning. Declared that what all power, heaven and earth, is given unto me. How can we disrespect and dishonor a man that lived 33 years and done such a great work in his lifetime for you and I? And we won't take our time. We'll go to the ball game. We'll go to whatever. We go on our tours. We go everywhere. We go everywhere but what the Lord said. What did the Lord tell you to go on Sunday? Go to church. Even if you don't go into Christ, you ought to go to one of those denominations and go unto Christ. Try to learn something about what? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for us. We know we disrespect God because nobody knows God. And you know, I'm kind of like Jonah. Who is your God? Do you believe there's a heaven? Some folks believe that what? Uh, you know, when God come back, uh, uh, he's going to get us up and we're going to go. Up. Ain't no flesh and blood, 1 Corinthians 15, 50, going no heaven. You ain't going to get up out of no dirty clay and get up and rise up and go up into no heaven. The Bible said when we go up, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, we're going to be spirit. When we get up there, there ain't going to be no mama and daddy, my husband and wife. It ain't going to work. Let me get you straight with you. If you went to hell and your mother went to heaven, how are you going to get to see her? We don't know who. Because the Bible says in Acts 2 and verse 40, I got to save myself. My mother was in the church of Christ. But do that mean she went to heaven? It don't mean that everybody getting in there is going to make it. But the Bible is such in John 12, 48. He that rejected me and received not my words has as one that judges him. Hebrews 10, 25. If you don't go to the church, how are you going to go to heaven? If you don't come to church on the first day of the week, how are you going to get your medicine? Jesus said in John 6, verse 63, if you die and you see where I am, you cannot come. This blood and this bread is commanded every week. You need to put it in your body. It helps you to keep from sin. It helps you to think about sin. Because if you don't have this sin, you have no respect for mama. You have no respect for daddy. Look at the world now. And if we go back and read Judges chapter 7. The Bible says, God don't like sin. He sent other men. He'll make you destroy yourself. You don't raise your children, Deuteronomy chapter 4, 6 and 4. You don't teach them in the morning about God. You don't teach them in the evening about God. God is going to come down with a calamity. And the Bible says, vengeance belongs to the Lord. We should teach our children how to respect God. God is. God's son is not God. You want a thousand dollars? Tell you a theologian or whoever that he is. Tell you exegesis. Tell you uh, uh, all of the big boys that can read so fast and play the piano so quick and play the organs like David and do everything like David that, that Isaiah said in Isaiah 5 verses 12 through 14, somebody need to read because I think when I get to heaven, there will be no piano, there will be no organ, all of this stuff that we're jumping up and down and talking about, making money, ain't going to be no money in heaven. We enjoy our pleasures here upon the earth. That's what the devil loves. You remember when Nebuchadnezzar told, Nebuchadnezzar told uh, the Hebrew boys, when you hear the sound of this music bow down, they refuse to listen. But God stepped in. 
God is going to step in again. Jesus died for you. Not only on Easter to celebrate. We need to celebrate every week. You know, I see people come to the Lord. My sister-in-law died this week. And with that, she was dressed out fine. But when she get back to God, and every one of us, as the Baptist preacher approached me, he said, when we uh, all die, or, or, and everybody go, I say, yes, sir, the sinners and everybody got to go before the judgment. And I don't know what you did in life, but I know what I want to do. I want to obey God. Acts 5, 29, rather than me. Are you striving off of the book of God in the English in which that he gave it to you? Or are you trying to study Babel through some other language, some other culture, or some other whatever, looking for something that is not there? I know that God is going to do this for me because I know God is going to do this for my mama. I know God. You don't know nothing if you don't know the word of God. The word of God is what saves us. And without the word of God, we are what? Lost. I don't want to be lost. I want to be found. I thank God I found Christ. Christ didn't find me. I'd have found him. And if you don't know Christ in the pardons of your sin, then you need to find Christ. What are you finding? Like I say, in my religion, when I was a child, I grew up. I searched the word of God. I found Christ. If you find Christ today, why don't you hear him? Why don't you believe him? Tell him when you're wrong. Turn around and say, I want to follow you. There's no greater man. All of the presidents in the world, all of the men in the world cannot take you where Christ says, I am the way. There's only one way, and that's through Christ. Christ said, if you confess me, I'll confess you before my Father which is in heaven. But if you deny me, I'm going to deny you before my Father, which is in heaven. So you got to be in Christ. How do you get in Christ? Do you believe in Christ? Do you think in Christ? Do you feel in to get into Christ? The Bible said that Jesus said, Matthew 16. The Bible said that Jesus says in Matthew 16, 18, Go ye into all of the world, baptize them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus said. Some folks say in the name of Jesus. Some folks say in the name of the Holy Spirit. But James still said, if you leave it all, you got to have the Trinity. What is the Trinity? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. First John 5, 7. These three have agreed through the word that if you want to go to heaven, you got to get in some water. God says water. Acts 22, 16. The Apostle Paul powerful and his knowledge that he was and how, how, how excellent he was in all of his state of academic. He still had to go what? And be baptized. Jesus didn't save him on the road to Damascus, Acts chapter 9. He told him to go to the church where Ananias and he would tell him by word what he needed to do in order to be saved. In the 8th chapter of the book of Acts, the unit before, you know, before, Christ, before the Jews became Christian, we all, the Gentiles, couldn't go to church. We couldn't worship. So therefore, in the eighth chapter of the book of Acts, the Bible said there was a man that called the Ethiopian Union. Acts 8 beginning at verse 26, etc. Time is an essence. That this man, he desired to worship God. Do you desire to worship God? Go in the Bible, find the church, and go and find Christ like the unit did. When the preacher was preaching, he said to him, he said, the unit says to him, See, here is water. What hindered me to get in Christ? What hindered me to be baptized? First Peter 3 and 21, where unto the life figure, baptism doeth also now saves us. Are you in the us? Or are you in the dust? If you want to be in the us, we want to say once again, we thank you for listening, tuning in, and be a part of what we're doing. God be with you. And after this...
thinking of the resurrection. Let's get it right and find Christ. Thank you for listening and good day.